this is Sarah with stinkingcutecards.com and I have the 3rd of June's featured cards here for you today, the last one. This one is using the Varied Vases stamp set and as you'll notice we continued with the Mint Macaron and this time I've paired it with the new Poppy Parade and um, have come up with just a fun springy little card that's just that just seems so happy. So um, these are the pieces that you're going to need. Um, I've, I'll have the cutting directions there for you too. And so let's just go ahead and show you how much fun this sweet little card is. So we are going to start with the um, card base as always. And what I have done is um, I know this is probably not a new tip, but your I, I wanted to do the, I have the Poppy Parade um, oval and a stitched oval. And what I have done is because this piece is the layer for the inside, let me show you that. What you can do is cut your circle out of the layer and just saves, you, saves yourself a little bit of, um, a little bit of extra cardstock. So that's going to be my inside. And then what I did with this one, um, because this one is going to be layered behind the stripes one, I was able to cut that out. So just, it's just a, way, a little way, a little tip to make your cardstock go a little bit further. So like I said, let's go ahead and get that inside stamped up. Um, I like this, this stamp set. It is um, a great little, little set quite versatile and I'm going to just stamp the you are simply the best here on the bottom. Now one of the things I want to do is I want to add my sweet little tulip and I'm going to use the mint macaron and the stems and so I'm just going to I don't want my stem to be quite so long and so oh, and I want to cover up my my words so that they're not inked. I'm just going to make a little mask and then add a tulip leaf. Stinking cute, right? And then add the, go ahead and add your red tulip. And um, because I'm using the Poppy Parade um, for both the inside and the outside, I'm just going to stamp off because I want to get rid of that top load of ink. And so then it looks, you know, multicolored and you can notice the difference between the two. So there's the You Are Simply the Best for the inside. And we are going to go ahead and layer that up. Okay, I'm just going to layer that on that Poppy Parade cardstock that we used. Oops, that wasn't, that wasn't good. Hopefully we'll be able to smooth that out. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll let that one fly. Okay. And this one goes on the inside of my cardstock. Okay. All right, so our inside is finished, and now it's just a matter of completing the outside. But again, I'm going to layer up the red and stick that right here in the center. And Alright, so let's just go ahead and attach our striped piece to our whisper right here. Oh, that's much better. And we're going to attach that. Oh. And so then what I did is you'll notice that I wrapped it with white baker's twine. While I was cleaning the other day, I found some old um, mint macaron twine that came with one of the paper pumpkins. And so I'm just going to attach that real quick. And boy, does that look cute. I love it. It is so adorable. It just pops that card that much more. So isn't that cute? Oh, love it. All right. And one of the little tricks that I have done in the past is I'm just using the glue dot as a little trap. I'm not going to take even the backing off. I just want it to make sure that it sticks there and because I am I'm gonna pop that off with dimensionals and again I'm just using leftover dimensionals from our paper pumpkin kits because they are always there's lots of them there so I am just using it that way okay so whoa adding that right here to the front isn't that cute? Ooh, coming along, coming along. 
Now let's go ahead and stamp our, our main images. I'm going to stamp the little thanks up here in the top. And so cute. We are going to stamp our um, vase, and you'll notice that my vase is upside down. Hence, it's much easier. Whoop, I take that back. I'm going to need to stamp it upside down like this so that I can just feed that in there and punch it. That was probably the hardest part about this whole project was to figure <laughs> figure out placement of the of the stamps when you're gonna, because you're going to need to punch them out. So that's going to be that. Let's go ahead and add our stems here. Kind of give myself a little eyeball of where I'm going to put them. This one here, and I'm going to turn it around so that it looks like and because I usually like one stem a little shorter than the other, because that's usually what happens in nature, nothing is the same height, I'm going to give myself a little mask, so then that's that will look cute, just like that. Okay? I'm going to pop these off with dimensionals. And before I do that, I'd like to use the tulip leaf again on the mint macaron and I think I see this is here I did it backwards ha ah, okay try it again it's much easier it's only paper like we say in class a hundred times a day and there's our little tulip leaf add some adhesive we're gonna put our cute little adorable vase right there. Let's add a tulip leaf and now it's just a matter of adding our actual tulips. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the inside. I am going to stamp I'm going to stamp a couple of tulips outlines and then I am going to stamp off with the actual body again real cute. There we go. Slide that down. And it's just a matter of attaching that one as well. And I do think I should probably use the smaller of the dimensionals, the little baby dimensionals, because that will work real well with the tulip buds. And look at that. I've lost my tulip. My second one. Ha! Go figure. Maisie, you can just wait. We're right in the middle of a project here. Seriously. Oh, let's stamp another one real quick here. It's there that easy. One. My luck, it'll be stuck in the, the punch here. <laughs> All right, let's just punch that baby out. There we go, much better. Find a third, three times a charm. Let's go here. Oh, for stinking cute, I'm telling you. And let's go ahead and attach that to the card front and attach our little scallop layer and let's attach that with dimensionals to the card base itself. And two or three is probably adequate. Don't have to go hog wild on these. How stinking cute is that? I love this little varied vases. It's a quite fun little stamp set. So if you have any questions about the projects that we've done today, or if you're interested in participating in the Take Three uh, monthly monthly class, please let me know. Again, it's www.stinkingcutecards.com. Thanks. Bye.